These poems are dedicated to all those whose lives have been spent in bringing peace to this planet. Wherever you are, I bow my head. May peace be on this earth. We are all united with the thread of love. May each one of us realize the garland of life. Your spirit took human form. Your spirit took human form. For the majority of mankind, they would almost say, that's not possible. How could that be? But it's absolutely the truth. Behind your breath lies the answer. Imagine <coughs> your spirit is a battery that keeps you alive. Behind your breath lies the battery of life. When you die and you take your last breath, no amount of trying to recitate you will work. What gives? What is the power behind your breath? I know I sound like a broken record, yet we no longer live in the Newtonian age. Modern day scientists are blown their minds by discovering the wisdom of the quantum. My friend Guy says that modern day Buddhism has to keep up with the latest scientific discoveries in the quantum field. Mystics and scientists are both saying about it's both saying the same thing. Nobody could be more true nothing could be more true than your spirit taking a human body. Most people would say your human form contains a spirit. Yet with that concept we have limited ourselves to our true nature. This is where we got the puzzle wrong. But that train of thought, one only looks externally to find this hidden jewel that lies within. We become separated and lost. We fight one another. It's every man for himself. It's country against country, it's race against race, it's religion against religion, it's one political party against the other political party. The list goes on and on. When we are where the spirit takes human form, we have an entirely different picture. We see the threat that ties us all together. We understand that we are a part of the universe, and the universe is a part of us. There is no separation. What I do to you, I do to myself. When we can see the reflection of ourselves in the mirror and see the unity behind all things, our lives change forever. This is truly a video game of life. There are infinite amounts of levels. Most people's, most people are on the level where they can't see both sides of the picture. When one is only a wreck of the external, one sees only one percent of the light spectrum. Most people think, yes, I see clearly. Even if you have 20-20 vision, your sight is limited. We are talking about having your feet on the ground and your head in heaven. This is not an oxymoron. This is your true state of existence. Just look at a newborn baby. That smile radiates the entire world. This is what we are talking about. A baby 
lies in that state. Unfortunately, over time it loses its true state of existence. We get programmed by our environment. We learn, unfortunately, from the outside world that we must always look externally. We slowly lose the light spectrum of life until we only see 1% of the light spectrum. There are millions of people waking up from their slumber. The sun is about ready to rise. It's going to be a glorious sunrise. Just wait and see. The Goodie Bag What is the Goodie Bag? I love to watch Mary Poppins. I remember in one scene, she took out so many different items from her bag. There is no way on earth a, a bag could contain all those items. Yet, we all contain an infinite goodie bag inside of us. In fact, the entire universe exists inside of us. That is my friend, the grand goodie bag. The magic behind all magic lies inside of us. Yet, we are texting on the freeway of life. We are oblivious of the divine gifts that already exist inside of us. We have free will. Currently, there's so much chaos on this land. Yet this chaos is a manifestation of not knowing our true selves. We are all reminding each other that there's a different path, a different avenue to life. This goodie bag is our true experience. It is our true nature. It's magic, and yet it's as real as can be. It's supernatural, yet it's the most natural thing there is. It doesn't try to convince you or to convert you. There's nothing to convert to. This is not a belief system. This is the foundation behind all life. We live in such incredible times. I know that at times it doesn't seem like that. Yet, this is probably the greatest time ever to be alive. The world of the mystic and the quantum scientists are coming together. We are ready to embark on an incredible journey of self-discovery. The Renaissance age of old is nothing compared to what we are about to embark on. History will show that we went from darkness to light in such a short time. I call this the evolution revolution. Can you imagine the entire world's chemistry set that exists inside being used for the benefit of all? We are about ready to change this world from the inside out. For thousands of years, we have been trying to change this world through intimidation, chaos, and wars. This has not worked at all. Not a single war helped humanity in the end. We are shifting our paradigm of living. We are shifting our attention from the external to the internal. By doing so, we are tapping into our true potential. We are tapping into the web of life that is tying us all together. Can you imagine how incredible that will be? What I do to you, I do to me. The world will change 
dramatically when we see ourselves in the other person and the other person sees themselves in you. Just that fundamental realization will change this world. This may seem like this is an impossibility, yet the entire universe is supporting us on the journey. We have simply thought we were alone. The universe is your best friend. There are no enemies in eternity. Enemies are truly a figure of imagination in the mind. The mind can either be your best friend or your worst enemy. We are going from darkness to light. We need to take our minds to the dog school and to learn how to train them again. Our way of thinking is not in harmony with nature and the universe. Then yet we wonder why life in general is so chaotic. What you focus on, you will become. If you focus on the chaotic world around you, you will become chaotic. If you focus on kindness for all, you will become. It's quite simple, isn't it? That's why I say, the more attention you pay to something, it pays attention to you. It couldn't be more simpler than that. Just think, in one day, you can change your focus and direction in life. Did you know that it takes only around three weeks to establish a habit? This habit may be good for you or bad for you. Be determined to change. It's up to you. We can learn how to reprogram our subconscious mind. 90% of our actions come from the subconscious mind. We think we are in control. A wise man learns how to read the garden within. In each and every moment, one tends to his garden. Constantly pull the weeds, rocks, and boulders from within. How many lifetimes? This life is a grand journey. You make a reservation. You check in. And someday you check out. Each of us has our own individual hotel. Many people, when they are young, think they would never check out of this hotel. Yet, as Bugs Bunny once said, don't take life so seriously, because you will never get out of it alive. You have been alive for eternity. Before the universe was even created, you existed. Yet we think that we are so mortal and frail. Mind you, in some ways we are. You're true essence is eternal. Countless lives we have lived. This life is a riddle meant to be solved. The wise man constantly tries to solve the riddle of life. The riddle of light might truly never be solved. My brother once said, it's the untold story. 
words will never be able to describe the story. <laughs> yeah, that's the best we can do. Common sense is uncommon. This journey in life is an incredible learning experience. At times, we make this journey much more difficult than it should be. One should live in the center of the hurricane. Most of humanity, unbeknownst to their lives, unbeknownst to them, lives their lives like leaves blowing in the wind. That makes the journey much more difficult. One has to hold on to dear life. One has to always try to control, control things around them. You can see it today. The Supreme Court recently has made some crazy decisions that affect human life. It seems the court today is more partisan than ever before. In history, when chaos arises in our court systems, it's the beginning of the end. And I'm saying this is the case. These two decisions bring us back 50 years or more in time. The world would be in a better place if we all embraced life to its fullest. We must embrace the jewel that exists inside of us. Chaos may be all around. A wise man, he just smiles at the chaos. He knows the center of the hurricane, which is calm. He will not go outside of the center. The winds of the mountain are constantly howling. This is why chaos is manifested in the world. The world is a reflection of our state of mind. Do you try to control your mind? Our dogs are more trained than their owners. I find that ironic. We don't see the mess that we have created. We think it's normal. While well, it's not. <coughs> Hopefully, you will ponder what I'm saying. For many people, words come in, words come out, and the story. A wise man listens even if he's heard the same story hundreds of times before. Each time the story is told, something new is realized. We all can fine tune the guitar of life. There will never be a time when you can say. You can clap your hands and say, I know it all. Welcome to the world of Maya. Welcome to the world of Maya. This is the greatest illusion in the universe. It is created by the master magician who creates all. Everything is created and everything eventually gets destroyed. Nothing physical lasts forever. The universe comes, the universe goes. This is the nature of all things created. Yet, you are eternal. You were never created, therefore, you will never die. This is the great mystery of life. When we were born, we came from the creative source. 
that was and is our true nature. Somewhere along the way, we got caught up in the web of mine. We think this world we live in is so real. I can see it with my own two eyes. I know what is real and what is not. Mystic have said for thousands of years that what you see is not real. It is an illusion. Tell me, when you're watching a movie, is that movie real? We get so sucked up in the drama of the movie. We go through all the motions, the ups and the downs. A wise man says to turn around and look at the light projecting on the screen of life. When you do this, you will understand this riddle. So many solutions. When President Kennedy made a speech saying that we would go to the moon before the end of the decade, many people laughed and scoffed it off as a joke. Yet, he was serious. There were thousands of obstacles in the way. The modern day cell phone has probably a hundred times more power than the computer on board the craft. Many of the calculations were done by hand without using sophisticated computers like we have today. Back then, there was a common mission and people stepped up to the plate. Today, we have a myriad of problems facing us. We can find solution to all these problems. The only way to find a solution is when we, we reunite for a common goal. It should be so obvious <coughs> what the goal is. Nobody should spell it out for you. Yet, we've been fighting for so long. We think war is the solution, my friend. Wars are obsolete. Only an uncivilized world will go to war against one another. We're the only species on this planet that will kill on the battlefield of life. It seems like we need to get our priorities in order. True wisdom comes from the silence within. Without wisdom, one makes hasty decisions. Hasty decisions without truly pondering them over will make many mistakes. Many or most of the world's problems stem from people who are more interested in making money than healing this planet. We are sawing off the branch we are sitting on. As long as I make my money, who cares? This has been the consciousness of so many leaders and companies today. It's always the bottom line. It's always short-term profits. How did we get, how did we do this quarter? How many decisions are made? Ten generations down the line. Life is like a grand chess player. He can make in his mind around seven to ten moves in advance. We need to find practical solutions that consider this state of mind. One must look at all the different angles. Many so-called solutions are simply made without truly thinking about the consequences. They are made hastily. Most wars are simply hasty decisions. If there is a problem, there is a solution. We have so many brilliant minds in the world today. Unfortunately, many of these brilliant minds are hidden. Mainstream society never hears from them. They are brilliant, 
What would happen if these brilliant minds' ideas would be brought to the mainstream? Can you imagine if the world at large is united with these incredible ideas for the future? Can you imagine if each citizen of the world lives their life to embrace these new ideas and solutions? We can change this world for the better. To change this world, the first step is to change yourself. If you only did this, you would put in your piece of the puzzle. The more people do this, the more the puzzle becomes complete. True solutions only come when a person is humble and kind. If you're not humble and kind in my eyes, the solution. Will we simply abandon? It may solve their immediate problem by hiding the symptoms, yet the cancerous disease will still exist. We have seen so many of these problems in the world today. Take a look at the infrastructure in America. It is falling apart when we put band-aids on the problem. How many bridges have to fall before we get our act together? Your infrastructure is the foundation of your society. When your infrastructure crumbles, your society eventually will crumble. Our nation is polarized in so many different ways. When a nation is polarized, compromise has gone out the door. When a person can't bow. And then he becomes rigid. Problems will never be solved. Politicians will always pass the buck or kick the can down the road. Nothing substantial will get done. Finger pointing will be the name of the game. The Supreme Court will no longer be able to make noble and right decisions. It seems like we have gone back over 50 years, maybe more. It looks like the civil rights movement of yesterday, with all its advances, has gone back 50 years. Instead of advancing civilization, we are bickering and fighting one another. In my eyes, if a politician does not kind, vote him out of office. Only a kind man can make kind laws. We must look at the characters of those who represent us. If we did, we would vote most of them out of office. All civilizations go down the drain and decay when common ethics and morals have gone out the door. The solution is on our hands if we want to listen. You. Are part of the problem, or part of the solution? What are you going to do about it? Celebrate the breath of life. Celebrate the breath of life. There are infinite possibilities of ways to celebrate the breath of life. Unfortunately. Most of us don't realize these possibilities. We still don't know what is keeping you alive. Mystics have said for thousands of years to realize the power behind your brain. It is keeping you and the universe alive. <coughs> Each breath is a celebration of life. You may say, "What a joke that is!" Yet when you are on your deathbed, you will no longer be joking. That, my friend, is a puzzle to solve within you. When we're young, we think we have all the time in the universe. The older we get, we see that time is ticking away. As Bugs Bunny once said. Don't take life so seriously, because you will never get out of it alive. These are wise words from good old bugs. 
the great mystics of old were surfers of their time. They knew how to ride the wave of life. The breath was a doorway to surfing this divine way. This same doorway exists inside of you. There is no place in the universe where you don't reside. We think we're so alone. Yet we are one in the vastness of the universe. I remember many moons ago an Indian poem that said, How can a fish drown in water? I find it quite amusing that there is water all around us, yet we are oblivious to it. We are just like the fish drowning in water. Heaven is all around us, yet we are oblivious to it. The greatest love in the universe surrounds us, yet we are oblivious to it. Your loved ones on the other side are always with you, yet we are oblivious to it. The greatest wisdom in the universe is all around us, yet we are oblivious to it. The greatest jewel exists inside of you, yet we are oblivious to it. This is a riddle meant to be solved by you. Nobody is trying to convert you or convince you. It's only your decision. This is the true nature that we are talking about. The life you are living is just skimming the surface of the ocean of life. There is an infinite ocean of love inside of you. You are this magnificent ocean of life in a human form. We think we are just this physical body. Since we think that, we experience life at such a gross level. What I mean by that is imagine that scientists knows the quantum field exists. The quantum field exists beyond time and space. All universes are part of the quantum field. Your true essence is the quantum field. This is why I say we live at such a gross level. We see only less than 1% of the light spectrum. Many of us think we see the entire picture. You have the inner microscope that lies within you. All we are saying is simply turn it off and magnify it and you will see your true nature. It's quite simple. You can see it in the eyes of a new world. These eyes are sparkling with the majestic of love. No words can describe that. That, my friend, is our true nature. We need to go back home while we are alive. This is called the kingdom of heaven on earth. Granted, this will take much time, but this is the video game of life. Imagine for trillions in years and beyond, this video game has been going on. Some civilizations have blown themselves up. Some civilizations have overcome all obstacles and transformed. They went through all the levels of going from darkness to light. Yes, this probably took a million years or so. Yet, just think, they did it. This is the same video game that they played. The same rules, the same video game, the same breath. What a divine opportunity we have. Celebrate the wonders of your breath in each moment.
you are alive. Rest in peace, Grand Gelker. A few days ago, a dear old friend, Grand Gelker, passed away. I haven't seen nor heard from him in 50 years. We weren't close friends. My brother, John, and I would call him the Gentle Giant. Even back in junior high school, he had an extremely large frame. Inside that frame was the heart of gold. He had a great sense of humor. He loved playing football. Football, indeed, was a part of his life. That gentle giant who was gentle outside the football field was a gladiator in battle on the field. I wouldn't like to have a half-ton trunk come barreling down on me. During my senior year, the football team went all the way to the CIF finals and won. That was quite the accomplishment. I heard rumors he moved to Colorado many moons ago. My brothers John saw him one day in Newport Beach while he was on a business trip. This was in the 80s. That was the last time we have seen or heard from him. My condolences to his family and kids. He was a great man. I can tell by the picture he had a great sense of faith. Rest in peace, Grant. My dear friend, Richard, I have a dear friend named Amar. Amar has a dear friend named Richard. Mind you, we have never seen each other, yet we are friends. He is quite sick and is fighting for his life. His wife, once or twice a week, gives Amar the latest status of his condition. Each time, we send him our prayers and love. We are all family, united under the umbrella of love. I've been going through health issues. Mind you, nothing compared to what Richard is going through. I send him my love and prayers to him that he can make it through this. He has a great attitude. His life is loving, supporting him through this trauma. He knows nobody can live forever. If it's time to go, it's time to go. He has a great will to master this. He appreciates life for what it offers, and that is the greatest blessing. We are with you, Richard. Many people are praying. For you. Never stop learning. Today's greatest wisdom may be tomorrow a thing of the past. Don't be so lazy 
that you think you are always right. There are always two sides to the coin. A wise man just smiles at adversity. An ignorant man will try to convince you in any way he can. Here today, gone tomorrow. Here today, gone tomorrow. We think our lives are eternal, yet it is less than a blink of an eye in eternity. The wise man ponders this meaning throughout his life. The ignorant man only ponders this upon his deathbed. The Inner Light Once upon a time, when I closed my eyes, I saw nothing but darkness. This is a common condition for mankind today. When someone says that there is a light inside of you, what comes to your mind? Most people use this logic. I have never seen a light inside of me, therefore, it doesn't exist. I have a saying, the more attention you pay to something, the more attention it pays to you. This is a practical riddle for you to solve. By solving this riddle, you will be on the conscious journey of going from darkness to light. This is your true nature. You are the universe. You just don't know it. 